and I am going to be showing you how to make the most lovely bracelets today. Uh, very straightforward to do. I know I say it all the time, but it is it is really simple. We're just using a little bit of elastic. I'm using the 0.8 round elastic to make these really gorgeous cat's eye bracelets. Now, cat's eye beads, if you've not used them before, are absolutely lovely. I'm going to be telling you a little bit about them, why they're so shiny, why they're so reflective and so pretty. And it's going to give a really lovely look. So we're going to be calling it the Harlequin, Harlequin bracelet. I don't know why. I think it was the shape that just, they're bright, they're colourful. Um, so yeah, I've named them that. Um, so how are you all doing today? It is, it was bright. It's gone a little bit more overcast. It's feeling a little bit cold out, but spring is definitely here. I've got lots of gorgeous flowers in my garden. The bluebells are out in full. Um, my rhododendrons starting to bloom. So spring has sprung um, and these are very bright very colorful these lovely little bracelets and that's just going to brighten things up again so have a little um chat amongst yourselves come in don't be shy say good morning to me um, and i will wish you a lovely morning i'm going to start off by wishing elaine a lovely morning she says good morning everybody and good morning camille um camille loves oranges and yellows and warm colours. Um, we've got a multicoloured bracelet today. There's only one to choose from in terms of colourway because we're going to be making using lots of different colours. So you can pick out the colours that you like if you want to, um, but there is definitely a colour for everybody in these bracelets. Good morning to Lucy. How are you doing, my lovely? She says, good morning, everyone, and gives me some kisses. Kisses back to you, Lucy. Good morning to Frances. She says, good morning, everybody. Um, so does Patricia. Hello to you, Patricia. And Sharon is saying, good morning, Natalie, and our creative bead and ears. So I'm going to take you down on the mat, I think, first this morning, just to show off these gorgeous beads. And then I will take you over to the website. It's an absolute bargain. It's always a bargain. But today, I think for the quality of these beads, you are getting an absolute fabulous price. Camille says she loves cat's eye too. So it's something I've not really worked with that much. Um, we used the little disc ones a while ago and we made those lovely like little um, necklaces on the connectors and they fitted together and I loved them. But when I seen these in the warehouse, I thought, ooh, I have to use them. Um, I just love the way they catch the light and hence the name. Good morning to Sharon. She says, morning, Natalie and Creative Beadoneers. Charlotte says, hello, Natalie and everybody. Joanne is here as well. She says, good morning, Natalie and everyone. Trish says, good morning. Penny says, good morning. Um, Lucy says she forgot all about the live this morning. It didn't feel like a Monday today. I don't know why, but it is, so I'm here. Um, sending lots of love to Kitty. Um, I know she was unable to do her live um, chat yesterday. I think her voice was going. And I've also got a tickle in my throat. So do bear with me if I have a bit of a cough and a splutter, I've got my drink with me. Um, <clears throat> I can feel it tickling now, I've mentioned it. The more you try and suppress it, the worse it gets, doesn't it? Um, good morning to Penny. Good morning to Celia. She says it is chilly in Bolton, um, but day one of two weeks holiday. So plenty of feeding time. Oh, Celia, lovely. I hope you have a fabulous couple of weeks off. Um, good morning to Jenny. She says, good morning, everybody. Um, and Lucy is replying to you, Camille. She says, morning, Mama Millie, I think. Um, how are you feeling today? I think she's, yeah, I think it's to you that she's replying. She always calls you mum, doesn't she? Uh, good morning to Angela and good morning to Bridget. Or oh, is it Bridget? Birgit? I do apologise, Birgit, if I pronounced your name wrong. She says, good morning, everybody, as well from me. Um, and now Camille and Lucy are having a little chit chat amongst themselves, which is lovely. So let me take you down on the mat. Let me show you these gorgeous cat's eye beads. Now, as I say, cat's eye is a um, high quality glass bead. You can get cat's eye effect in gemstones as well. Um, and I'll explain a little bit about that. But they're basically used, if I can pick my needle up to show you one, They're made by um, 
it's kind of like fiber optic glass so i think they fuse these fibers together can you see if i just give that a little turn on my needle you should be able to see this gorgeous little band of light in the middle so it changes it changes hue and it kind of captures and reflects the light so they're really highly polished they've got these gorgeous gorgeous colors if I'm not mistaken, I don't think you can get a true red cat's eye. I think it's the way it catches the light. But there's an array of gorgeous little oranges we've got here for you. So it creates like a band that runs through the centre of the bead and they resemble a cat's eye. So as you know, cat's eyes, you have like cat's eye road markings and things. And the way they work is it they just look like they glow. And I know my camera and my light is not going to be picking this up for you today. But in gemstones, you might also hear people refer to um, like a chatoyancy, which is a French word, chat meaning cat. I don't speak French, so I do apologise again if my pronunciation is all full there. Um, but that basically means it's kind of got like a semi-translucent kind of effect. So it's kind of created in a way that it has this gorgeous light reflection effect and it shimmers with the movement so on your strand today you're going to get these beautiful diamond beads so these gorgeous gorgeous shapes that have got two holes running through the top of them i can show you i've got that much again on my mat it's probably not going to pick it up but they have the two holes running diagonally. So we're gonna just be able to string them on with absolutely no problem. And I think you get about 38 of these diamond shaped ones on your strand. And then also you've got the gorgeous little round beads, which are six millimeter. And I think you get about 74 on your strand there. Now, when we put these kits together, we've said it makes one bracelet. I've used for mine, and you know I've got small little wrists, but I've used for my bracelet, just putting them together in a lovely little multicoloured way, 15 of the diamonds. This is everything that I've got left over after making one already. So on the strand, you're going to get a mix of your shapes, you're going to get your diamonds, and you're going to get your rounds, and you're going to have all this left over after you've made one bracelet so i think it makes two personally but it obviously does depend on the size in which you're putting together you're gonna have some left over so you might want to make some little earrings to match it these would also look really really sweet if you were to make a little ring you could do a little wire ring there's tutorials on that if you have a little look back um, and you could have them in the center just don't think you're going to be, can you see that like band running through the center where those fibers are kind of spun together? They just look so beautiful. Um, and again, you've got the diamonds as well. So you can create all kinds of shapes and patterns with these. I've put those ones together because I think they would make a lovely little, little flower shape. So they are your cat's eye beads in a nutshell very high quality glass um, to create these absolutely beautiful kind of chatoyancy effect um, people are probably laughing at me i'm probably pronouncing that very very wrong but i know what i mean it's got these gorgeous reflective bits look at the colors on them they just look like sweeties to me i really really love them um, we've got a lot of you loving them too so jitty hello to you sweetheart how are you doing today patricia says i've got lots of those cats i i've got them in a bundle a while ago and they are lovely so you could maybe put these together on a really easy elastic bracelet today patricia caroline says morning natalie and our beading family lovely sunny day here in brixham good morning to joy good morning to sue she says oh good morning all oh these are pretty they're very 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 lovely aren't they Lucy has kindly shared the link for you today. So it'll be totallybeads.co.uk forward slash Facebook tutorials forward slash Harlequin bracelet. But I'll show you on the website where you can catch that as well. And she's also said they are a fab bargain today. Cat's eye are gorgeous. Um, 
and you're not too late at all. We've got two ands in and um, this morning we've got our lovely Anne who says, I'm sorry, I'm late. You're not late at all. And we've got another lovely Anne in as well. So good morning to you both. Um, Camille says, uh, yes, them and miracle beads are yummy. Miracle beads have got like an effect which it kind of gives like a bead within a bead. These just seem to have like a gorgeous like band of light running through them. So I absolutely love them. So I'm going to take you back up again and I'm going to take you over to the website and show you these lovely, lovely bargains. So let me, oh, oh dear. Just bear with me if you're still there because I don't know what has happened to my window for Totally Beads that I had already up. So bear with. It's always there. It's always there and ready for me to go. And now it's not. So let me try again. Um, don't know what's gone on this morning. It was there a minute ago. So if I can, there you go. Here we are totallybeads.co.uk you can go into categories and you can drop down on the video tutorials or you can click in the video tutorials here i hope you can all see this um so we've got these lovely things at the top as well which says click here for our facebook page subscribe to our youtube channel and you can click on kitty's youtube channel as well all of our tutorials are here you can see all the things we've done. You can search by date, by kind, by technique. There's hundreds of them. So today is the Harlequin bracelet. I'm just going to quickly pop back over to check. Can you all see this? It looks like it's there. Yeah, Lucy says, we're all still here. Camille says, still here. That's a relief. Okay, so this is our Harlequin bracelet. It is four pounds. And as I say, I think you're going to get two bracelets out of this. If you want to make one bracelet, you're going to have plenty left over to do something else with as well. So you don't need much in your kit to make these gorgeous bracelets. You're going to get your string of your twin hole uh, diamonds, which are 18 millimeter and they're mixed in color. And you're also going to get your um, beads on there as well. So they're all cat's eye. Your Diamonds, I think, are in length for 18 millimetres. Their width about is 10 millimetres and your thickness is 4 millimetres. And the round um, glass beads, cat's eye, which are also on that same strand, are 6 millimetre in diameter. So you're going to get a strand which looks like this. Let's have a little look at them. So they already come laid out for you. You can play about with the colours, but they're all there, uh, all strung on. There you go. There's all the sizes for you as well. And we're also popping in the elastic in there for you. So four pounds for the most beautiful bracelet. And I think you'll get two. That's that's what I think. But it depends how long you're going to make them. Um, as you know, I've only got small wrists. As I say, I've used 15 of these lovely little diamonds. So good morning to Pamela. Good morning to uh, Charlotte says that she's still here, which is good. Debbie says gremlins again, Natalie. I think that was me. I'm going to take, I'm going to be honest. I think I've just hit, hit the cross off button instead of keeping my page up. Um, good morning to uh, Lucy. She says, uh, face oh no, it is the gremlins and that's not me. Lucy says the Facebook's lives just crashed, she thinks. Camille's also been kicked out of Totally Beads. Oh dear. Oh no. Everybody's saying they've been kicked off and are viewing from Kitty's page. I'm going to sit and wait before I start because looking at number wise, it really has dropped off. So I'm going to give it a little while for a few of you to come back and find me again. Um, if that ever happens and it hasn't done it for a while so i thought we kind of got over that you can always find us on youtube and you can always find us on kitty robinson designs um we share the link afterwards onto the facebook handmade group um obviously if i'm not on facebook i it's showing me that i'm still on facebook but i'm clearly not so i do apologize for that um yeah, a lot of you are already on Kitty's page, which is fantastic. 
Um, thank you for that. Thank you for being so patient. Uh, good morning to Debbie. Good morning to Mandy. Uh, Penny says, what size are your wrists, Natalie? Mine are very small. I don't know. Um, I tend to just take a piece of thread or my elastic and I measure it round. So I would take my elastic or whatever I'm using. I would position it round where I want it to be. And then I measure that against a ruler. Where is my ruler? Here. So then what I'll do is I will, let me go back down. I will then measure it against my ruler. So my wrist personally is about six inches wide. Obviously, if I'm using my elastic, I'll use more than that. I'll add on a couple more inches because I think it's just nice to be able to have something to hold on to while I'm tying those knots. Um, and also, if I'm making it for someone else, then I'd like it to have a little bit, um, a little bit of wiggle room in it. But obviously, it's elastic, so it's going to stretch anyway. So personally, my wrists are about six inches, which I've always had quite slender wrists. But as I often say, it's the only thing about me now which is rather slender. Motherhood, lockdown, blame it on whatever you want. So all I'm going to do is I'm going to take my two lengths of elastic. And I'm going to cut them to give myself some extra to hold on to. Uh, good morning to Mandy. Good morning to Camille. She says, um, I can still see you, so it's okay. Uh, Anne has says, found me, which is lovely. So thank you. Um, yeah, Anne's come and found me again. Mandy is back on Facebook. Judith says, YouTube is okay. Uh, Amelia says, good morning. Isla says she always watches on YouTube. So I don't think she ever has um, an issue with being cut off in the middle. How rude, Facebook. Um, Camille says it's definitely a Monday morning. Well, if I didn't know it was, it is now, isn't it? Um, Sharon says, I'm on both Facebook and YouTube, both okay. Brilliant. And yes, Penny's also got small little wrists. There are there are a few things you can find on the internet by a very handy um, search engine, which does give you like approximate and average sizes. Um, if I'm making bracelets on Tiger Tail, I always add like a little extender chain. Um, it depends what I'm using. So my mum had a bracelet, which a friend gave to her, um, which was very sentimental and it broke and she asked me to fix it. So I wanted to use the same findings and the same beads. I needed to add a few extra because she'd lost some of the beads. Um, but that was just a tiger tail one. Obviously, it was with the original findings, which was like a toggle clasp. So I couldn't really extend that. So I did I did remake that, I think, two times for her. I either made it a little bit too big or a little bit too small. I should have just measured her wrist and then I'd have known. Um, good morning to Pauline. She says she's found me at last and it looks very colourful. It's lovely. OK, let's get going. Let's get making. So two strands of my elastic, I'm popping on my bead stopper. And as you know, you can find them also on the Totally Beads page. I think they're about 75p, I'm not too sure, but less than a pound anyway. <coughs> Excuse me, I'm gonna have a sip of my drink. I'm gonna get going. So I'm not using any needle or anything to thread with this. I'm just picking up my gorgeous, gorgeous cat's eye beads and I'm just threading them on. And I'm gonna do both strands at a time but you don't have to. You can do the top one and then thread onto the bottom one, whichever way works for you. So we've got all of these gorgeous, gorgeous colours, a full rainbow of beauties. As I say, I'm pretty sure you can't get a true red cat's eye. The way they're made, I think it just, it doesn't allow to have that beautiful shimmer. So this is as red, I think, as it gets, which has got more of a kind of, carnelian look to it to me so it's a little more on the orange side but you can lay these out however you want on my bracelet I've done a complete mix so I popped them on in no particular color way I just thought they look lovely like that when they come on the strand they will come already on your kind of um 
thread like this. So you can just take them off and pop them on directly as they come. It's entirely up to you. Or you can play about with them and you can see what colours look nice together. So I'm just going to pop on my first lovely little diamond bead. And I'm popping that on the two holes at the top and the two holes at the bottom. And my elastic is really good. It just threads on really easily. If I wanted to, I could pop that on a needle, but I don't have to. Just going to untwist them. So I'm popping my first bead on. And then I'm going to get one of my round beads. I think I'm going to kind of contrast the colours. So I'm going to pick up that gorgeous blue. But I don't think I'm going to have the same on both sides. I think I'm going to mix them. And I'm going to add that gorgeous kind of greeny colour as well. So you're getting all sorts of different shades and different colours in both your round beads and also your gorgeous diamond shaped ones. Um, as I say, you're probably getting about 38 of the diamonds on the strand. So there's a good chance you're going to have a few of the same. So you've got the same blues and the same greens in there. So if you wanted to make yourself a little pair of E-rings, you could always pick out a couple of your beads that are the same there. So all I'm doing is picking up whichever pretty round bead that I want in between. And I'm just picking them up at random, really, because as I say, I quite like the fact that they're multicolored and mixed and they just look lovely together, whichever way you pick up. But you might want to go for kind of rainbow colors or kind of chakra colors. And you might want to put them in a particular order. That is entirely up to you. Penny says it looks pretty. Good morning, Mina. She says, sorry, I'm late. I was catching up with the manager as he was off last week. Well, I hope you're having a good morning. I hope you're not too busy. So all I'm doing is picking up my round beads and popping them on. And then I'm picking up one of my diamond shaped ones and I'm threading both of my strands of elastic through the same bead but on the holes at the top and the bottom that's how simple it is to do and they look i think really really effective and very gorgeous angela says found you hello angela thank you for coming back i don't know what's happened sometimes i think it's if i show the website but we've We've been kicked off prior to going on the website, so I really don't know what it is that's causing that. So hopefully you found us and you're back with us, and if not, hopefully you'll be able to catch up with us later. <clears throat> Excuse me. So have you all had a lovely weekend? What were you doing? Anything particularly wonderful was the weather nice where you were we had a lovely stay um, away and the weather was fantastic the sun was shining the birds were singing there was a wedding there as well the bride looked lovely all the guests looked lovely we had a nice meal and a few little drinks um, and it was just a very nice weekend, but it went super, super quick. Let's pick one of these ones up. So sometimes I think if I do something on the Friday, it makes the weekend feel a little bit longer. But if I do something on, say, the Saturday night, I don't know. It just seems to make it go a little bit quicker for me. What were you up to? Anything nice? <laughs> Mina says, I couldn't find you on Facebook. Well, I'm glad you're here with us, Mina. Uh, Celia says, red, white and blue beading. Is that what you've been up to? I 
I had a little attempt last week. I think it was after I'd finished the live with you. And I thought, right, let's get my Jubilee hat on, my thinking cap, or my crown rather. So I did attempt to put a little earring together. Um, I don't think I'll show you. I do have one here, but I think it's gonna need some work. In fact, if I hadn't have told you what it was, I'd say, what do you think this was supposed to be? Um, but I was proud of myself because I picked up a needle and a thread and I didn't go with a design. I just made it up as I went along. Um, and then I took a picture of it and sent it to Kitty and said, I think um, you need to make these <laughs> and make them better. But I'm sure we'll have some sort of jubilee themed makes for you. Camille saying show us. No, could you laugh at me, Camille? You take that off the top. It's gonna be a little earring. I suppose you could have it as a pendant. It's meant to be a crown, but I didn't have the colours that I wanted in. Um, I want it in gold and I only had like silver seed beads to hand. Um, there you go, that's all you're getting. Lucy says she think you should show us. And Angela says you can't hide from us bead ears. Well, it just proves we're all learning together. So anytime, you know, you're all saying, oh, I'm not confident with wire work. I know I'm gonna change that color just to change it up a bit. And I show something off that I'm pretty proud of. And then maybe that would just give you more confidence and you'd think, well, actually look at Natalie's beading. <laughs> Oh, thank you so much. Celia says it's cute. Camille says it looks cool. Uh, Lucy says, oh, that looks really cute. It does look like a crown. Uh, Joanne says, oh, that's so sweet. And Elaine says it looks really pretty. Thank you so much. Um, I will perfect it if I obviously um, do decide to deliver that for you as a tutorial. I'll make sure Kitty's ran her expert eye over it and told me how to improve it and... Um, yeah, we can't do a live where I just wing it, though. I need to know exactly what I'm doing. <laughs> but, you know, you just, it's trial and error, isn't it? You've got to test things out um, and you've got to see what works. There's no such thing as failures. It's all a learning curve. Oh, Celia says she did some try some wire work as well. What have you been making? I haven't done any wire work really for a little while um and now my god when i say a little while it's been like a few days um maybe a week i want my um and i always use the flowers in my garden to um act as a backdrop when i, I photograph my makes um and now all my flowers are out in the garden i really should have something um to photograph look at the white look at the sheen on that is that can that pick up on the camera it's just so pretty um so yes i do need to make some bits but i think i'm gonna spend the rest of the day just putting some samples together um of things that i'll be hopefully working on for you lovely lot uh, not use that gorgeous pink one yet so I'll probably try some of them and see if they work and then put those ideas together. So what I tend to do is I will um, have an idea in my head. I'll make it using my stash of stuff that I've got here at home. And then if the design works, I then take it down to the warehouse and I put it together with all of the products that I would actually like to make it in with all of the gorgeous beads or whatever it is that I'm, I'm after. I can get the colors right while I'm down there. So that's what I think I'll be doing this afternoon. I was gonna take mommy out. She did have um, an appointment and I was gonna walk the dog that she's looking after. The dog's very lovely. She's a little whippet and she's called Lady Lily. So it's mum's friend's dog. They've gone on holiday. So 
I said, oh, well, I'll walk the dog. Um, but I don't think that's happening now. But she's been lovely company. And she's been very patient with my little boy, who's been a bit obsessed with her, to be honest. I think he's missing us having a dog. Lucy's asking, when am I going down to Kitty's? This week, I'll be travelling down on Thursday um, and I'll be staying for the weekend. I'm not exactly sure when I'll be coming back. I'm hoping it will be Sunday. Um, but we, the trains are all over the place at the moment. I don't know whether it's because the bank holiday Monday is approaching or it's because they're doing a lot of work on the train line, but the usual stations that I would travel back from, I can't. So I'm going all around the world and I think it's going to take me about eight hours to get home, but I've managed to find one where I don't have to go on a bus. I don't mind going on the bus, but when I'm traveling with all of my gorgeous things and my mates, I just don't, I don't want to have to do multi routes. <laughs> I don't want to get lost basically in a place I'm not sure of. How long is it by train, says Mandy. Um, it's usually about five hours. Um, yeah, on the way back, it's about eight. I'm going all sorts of places. But I like going down. It One, it gives me a chance to see Kitty, but also I get to, get to play in the warehouse with the lovely beads. Lucy says, wow, eight hours, that's a lot of travelling. And Mandy says she's from the Wirral, yeah. So what I'll do, Mandy, is I will travel um, from my station into Liverpool. I go from Lime Street and then I get the train directly down to London. And then I will um, get the tube and then another train. I usually go to Euston um, and then to Liverpool Street. And then I go up to Clacton, which is where our gorgeous warehouse is. Um, they would look gorgeous, those colours together that are left over. So I'm going to do something with them. Let me count my beads. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. That will be big enough for me. Um, on the way back, it's taken me uh, Sheffield, Manchester, all sorts of places. Um, we'll see. We'll just, we'll hope for the best. So I'm going to put my strands on the bottom. So my bottom strand of elastic, I'm just gonna pin that together with my little grip, just to keep it out of the way. And I'm gonna bring the top ones up. So the same strand that I've ran through the top and pop in here. And then I'm gonna tie them together. So I'm gonna do left over right, right over left. I'm going to keep pulling them down together. And then I'm going to take one, so my left one over my right one, and I'm just going to wrap that round twice. And what I've made sure I've done is I've finished off, so I've got a bead coming up to the triangle, so or the uh, diamond rather, so that will give a one continuous kind of design. And then I'm going to do the same with the other. So I'm going to give them a little pull so they all sit nice together and there's no major gaps in my elastic. Thank you, Lucy, for sharing the link again for me. Look, you can see how gorgeous those colours are. Look, you can really see how the light catches there as well. So the chatoyancy in these gorgeous beads, that gorgeous cat's eye effect. Again, I'm going to go left over right. Or right over left, it really doesn't matter. Just going to give that a little pull again. 
I'm going to put it down on the table. So I'll talk you through what I'm doing. But if I lift it up, I tend to get the other strand in the way a little bit and it opens up. So I'm just going to wrap that round twice and give it quite a firm but gentle pull. And then tighten up those ones again. So I've got little tiny knots. They're not too big. You can't see them too much. Um, obviously, the elastic is clear. So when it's on, I tend to wear it where my knot is towards the bottom. But you can't really see that there, can you? That's where my knot is in between my bead there. And I always tend to do larger knots and knot it more than I probably need to, just because I don't want it to, to come undone. And then I'm going to take a little dollop of my clear nail varnish or my glue. So if you're using glue, use a little toothpick or cocktail stick or something, something small just to get a tiny little bit on it. If you're using a clear nail varnish, just wipe off all of that excess and just pop a little bit of glue onto that knot. If you want to, you can dab it on the elastic above the knot and just hold it so it runs down and kind of seals that knot. Um, what we don't want to happen is when the glue dries, we don't want it to become brittle. But if I just pop a little bit on there, that seals those knots. I told you it was gonna be a quick make today. And then I'm just gonna wait for them to dry. And then I will come in with my scissors or usually my clippers, my little wire snippers, and I will just cut them really close. If I hold on to these strands before cutting, I should be able to put it on. That's how easy it goes on. It just threads on. I've made that one a little bit wider. It fits really nice as well, actually. I think I used 16 on this one and 15 on there. So, I mean, you could do a multi-row one and make yourself a big cuff. I think that looks particularly beautiful together. But I just love the shine on these beads. They really do capture and reflect the light so beautifully. So you've got that gorgeous band that runs through, like a band of light that runs through the middle. Nothing will do these justice. You really need to see them with your own eye to see the gorgeousness of these colours and how they twinkle. So they've got that gorgeous light refraction and they just shimmer with movement. And they, they're just so gorgeous bright colours, they just remind me of Sweeties. Camille also says it looks nice as double bangles. I mean, as I say, you could use this with four threads of elastic. You can make two and just wear them together. I think you will get two bracelets out of this kit. So this is one strand and I've got two bracelets and I have these left over still. So, I mean, now I'm probably going to sit and play about with these. I think they would look like really lovely little earrings. They're quite autumnal, these colours. Maybe even a little pendant. I just think they're really, really gorgeous. Uh, let me lift me up and read your gorgeous comments. So Lucy says, um, beautiful beads. Uh, she also says, oh, flower earrings to match, says Camille. I'm thinking so too. I'm thinking they're pretty much the same colour that I've got left. Hmm. I say what I'm going to be doing this afternoon. I get so distracted. So I'm like, no, I've got to make this and I want to make that. and I want to put this together. And then there's beads on my table now. And I'm thinking, well, it'd be a shame to put them back in a bag. I might as well just see what I can do with them first. <laughs> Joanne says they are really pretty together. Um, so thank you so much for joining me today. I do hope you found us all right. I'm so sorry that um, we weren't where we were when we started in terms of Facebook. 
Um, so I will be back with you on Friday. Um, I think I'm going to be doing like a chain mail bracelet with you on Friday, but we'll see because I'll be down in a wonderful Clacton. So I'll probably be in Kitty's home studio. Um, I don't know. I'm either loitering around in the background or I'm um, making a mess and playing with all their settings and things on a computer, which she loves. <laughs> so I hope you all have a really, really lovely week. I look forward to seeing you uh, at the end of the week from wherever I am. Um, and you take care of yourself. So uh, Debbie says, lovely again as usual. Thank you. You are most welcome. Um, have a lovely week, everybody. Stay safe. And I will see you soon. All right, love and light.